Hey guys. So today I'm just gonna be taking you around as I do some plant chores. I have a little bit of a list of some things that need done and we'll do whatever else I notice needs done along the way. Before we get into the plant chores, I do just wanna mention I have a lot of new merch available. Here is one of the designs. So if you want to check them out, I will have the link down in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comments. If you want to twin with me, then go there and make an order and we can wear matching shirts. Hee <laughs> cute little twinsy friends, little twinsy plant friends. <coughs> oh, that went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, let's get into the plant chores. And there's kind of a lot of them, but not a lot that like desperately need done, but some. Oof, here we go. Nope, there's too much laundry on my bathroom floor. Here we go. Okay, so first, we need to water this. And I know it needs water because the stem up here is a little bit wrinkled. One of the things on our list today is we're gonna chop this up. I am just wanting a more full plant. It kind of looks awkward and lanky right now. Some leaves fell off. I have a little bit of browning that's happening. So I just think chopping it up is the best bet right now. So I honestly don't know if I've ever mentioned that it is best to, um, chop like propagate a well-watered plant if the plant is dry that actually is going to increase the odds that the cutting doesn't do well that it's going to rot or die you know whatever or just take an extra long time to root so you do definitely want to make sure that when you're taking your cuttings like i can't believe i've never mentioned that before in any of my propagation videos i am so bad at being informative and helpful. But yeah, make sure your plants are well watered. If you're gonna, if you're planning to chop them up. So I, as I water the plants, I water myself. <laughs> Cute. I'm excited to finally be doing this. I've wanted to chop this plant up for so long, but I've just been putting it off. But you know what? Today's the day. Spoiler alert, today was not the day. And since we're in the bathroom anyway, I'm actually going to put my Sport Variegated Monstera. Is my bathroom a mess? Yes, it is. Do not judge me, please, or I will be sad and cry and have hurt feelings. So, oh God. This is my Sport Variegated Monstera that I got from Lowe's. Um, it needs to be sprayed off. It's getting a little bit dusty. It needs a really thorough watering. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Wow. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you only. Okay, I just had to take a little break to feed the baby. He was hungry. I mean, it's so hard to get anything done with Kai and the baby home. I have to be so honest with you and I just get so tired really quickly because I'm like running back and forth between my plants and the baby and all the other stuff that needs done in a day, the dogs, you know, it kind of feels like in my day, um, everybody needs me all at one time. So I really, really struggle with getting crap done now, especially when Ryan's not home with me. Anyway, another big thing I've been putting off forever is I want to move my variegated Monstera into water. I want it to grow in water instead of the Coco Quar and Sphagnum Moss it's in now. I just think it's going to be a lot happier, but I wanna put it into this pot because there's no drainage hole. So I'm going to move this guy into this pot. So I guess we'll start by moving this one, right? It needs to be watered also. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Wow, look at those roots. They're wild. That's awesome. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a huge mess. And now I'm just gonna this part's where it's gonna get messy, huh? Let me go get a towel. <sighs> okay, actually first, I am going to cut, look at this aerial root. It's so long, it's kind of grabbing onto everything. I'm gonna cut it off really close to the stem. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all the aerial roots actually, except for the newest one probably. Just so that they're out of the way for now, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, now what am I gonna do? Oh, I feel stuck. Yes, lay this out. Try not to make a mess, but we got a towel here. And when, when slash if we do make a mess. Oof. No wonder this thing hasn't been growing. It is rooted in there. Okay. Ah. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. You are kidding me. Holy. You're kidding. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> No wonder it hasn't been growing. It was growing, growing, growing really well for a while. And then I chopped it and put it into that container you just saw it in. And it grew a few, a couple new leaves. And then it just like stopped for a long time. And now I guess we know why. So I'm gonna try and loosen all this off the roots. Normally I would just move it as is. I'm also going to cut these aerial roots. I cannot believe this. That is wild. Okay. This is gonna be so much happier. Mm. What am I doing? I don't know what to do. It's like so tangled, but you know what kind of bugs me? Okay, so like it looks like it's super root bound around the outside. Like the roots have definitely twirled around the outside, but the inside of this, there's like no roots. So it's not as root bound as it looks. Like there's definitely space for roots in here. It just chose not to <laughs> utilize that central space around the stem. Like really there's like no roots right here, which is so weird. Hmm. I don't even know. I'm really glad I grabbed a towel. I'm just gonna make some cuts. And yes, this plant is going to go into shock. I do not recommend doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and also don't leave me a hate comment for what I'm doing. I know, I know, okay? I shouldn't be doing this. I, and I should have taken care of this a long, long time ago. I just didn't. And now here we are. Wow. Okay, so those are the roots that I'm going to put into the water. Oh wow, it's gonna grow so much better. Maybe I should have kept a couple more aerial roots on. No, that was a mess. Okay, I'm gonna put her in here. I'm so confused on what to do. Why was that so root bound? I'm going to fill this up with water in the sink. It's so much heavier now. But okay, uh, this <laughs> this little planty, this big planty is gonna be so much happier. And now I'm gonna wash the leaves cause it's been a while. It's so dusty. Can you even see? I'll put you up close so you can have the satisfaction of um, seeing the dust wipe off. That's like the best feeling ever, you know? Let's wipe this one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, we'll do this one side so you can see the difference. <laughs> side by side. Oh, she was dusty. This is sad. I promise I will be taking better care of my plants going forward. I just, I guess I hadn't really realized how long it's been since this one was in the shower. Okay, look at the difference from this side to this side. Wow, look if I go like that. Disgusting, disgusting. Oh, this is actually really satisfying. I'm having a good time, guys. I'm having a good time. And now we gotta move her back onto my nut stand. Wow, it's gonna be so much happier. This was a really good decision. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Really, really good decision. I'm so smart. And now we're just gonna add some liquid dirt mix into the water so the roots can have some nutrients. So that hopefully it'll grow. I hope it'll grow, you know? Cause it's such a pretty plant. Oh, I've done this plant so dirty. Oh, I promise I'll be better. I promise I'll be better, little plant. I'm so sorry. You play, you the best, you the best. I'm having a little breather. I haven't done that much, but I just feel so tired. I'm still waking up four to five times through the night with the baby. So during the day, I'm just so tired. Anyway, I'm having a little break so that I can, so I can tackle some more things on my list. Um, but I'm going to eat an Oreo ball that I made. Doesn't it look good? I'm like professional. Doesn't it look good? I kind of cracked it, but I try to limit myself to two a day, but it's really hard. Anyway, I'm gonna have one. This one's a dark chocolate one. I could make like a video on my second channel of how to make these. That'd be fun, huh? I really like making treats, but then it sucks because there's treats in the house, even though I don't really want to eat them. Like I obviously I want to eat them, but I don't want to eat all of them, but like I really like making them. Making treats like this is my new hobby, even though I don't want to have treats, <laughs> this many treats in the house. I just constantly want to be making them. Anyway, mm. look how good that looks. They're so easy and yummy. Um, What was I gonna say? I sat down to say something and then I forgot. I feel rejuvenated. Here in my Ikea cabinet, I have a bit of an experiment going on for a video. I have a lot of little cuttings in water here that are 
needing to be refilled. You see they're kind of getting empty. So I'm just gonna top them off. I think it's just these ones here. Nothing else really needs watered. Actually, this tray needs watered. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, these are for some videos I've been working on. Within like the next two-ish months, I think by two months, they'll be ready to go up. I'm hoping anyway, we'll see. And then up here, we also have some. Kind of, uh, not frustrating. Frustrating isn't the word. It kind of sucks because my favorite kinds of videos or the ones I, I'm really excited to do are these ones that take like a long time. So um, from start to finish, this video is going to take about two to three months to film. It'll be worth it when it's done, but it's just like a lot of work, which I'm fine doing. The problem is it takes so long to get these filmed, but I still have to film my like regular uploads, you know? So it just feels like I'm getting nowhere with all this work I'm doing. Like it'll be so worth it. Like I'm saying, like I said, I'm not complaining. Well, a little bit. I'm just venting, you know? I mean, these videos are gonna be really cool and I think really, really informative and fun to watch, hopefully, I hope so, but they just take forever and it's kind of annoying because it just feels like I'm constantly filming 24 seven, even though obviously I'm not filming 24 seven. Um, most of my free time is filming lately, but uh, it just feels like I'm getting nowhere. But once all these videos are done, then it'll, it'll be so nice. It'll feel so nice, so rewarding, you know? And I hope you guys will like them. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Good news, you guys. So we have done the, we have one, two, three, four, five, six things on my list. Um, cut Rafa Defora, I decided I'm going to do that in a video to show you like the complete process of cutting a plant back and all of that, um, everything that goes into that or my, I don't know what I do for it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish that in a separate video. You'll see that up on my channel at some point, but we have cleaned variegated monstera and moved it to water. We've watered the sport monstera. And then the only two things I have left are move Cebu blue and peace lily. I can't do it right now because the baby is in there napping in the main room napping. So I can't do that right now. But anyway, I ordered these. Let me go grab them. There's a tape on there. They grew. They's gross. Nasty. I ordered these smart plugs is what they're called. What did I write them? I put app grow light plugs <laughs> on my list. App grow light plugs, but they're called smart plugs. But I ordered them on Amazon, I believe. I'll link them down below. Obviously I haven't tried them yet. Right now I have three plugs downstairs that I have to plug in every morning and then unplug every evening, which maybe doesn't sound like a big deal, but most days when I'm home alone with my toddler, baby and dogs, like it just, it feels like so much work to be able to get down there to plug them in and then unplug them at night before bed. So this is, I thought it had an app. They do have an app, so that's what I was excited to use it with. You can download an app and turn them on and off from said app and then also put them on a timer. I'm not gonna do the timer or I don't know. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do, hit the button on the app every day and then it'll kind of remind me, it'll make me like think about it so that I remember to go check on the plants every once in a while. But yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go do these now. We are gonna experience this together, okay? I think it'll be fun. Okay, so I need to open this. Dang it, I should have brought my scissors down. Stupid. So I'm gonna be able to get them open. Ugh. There we go. Here we are at the first plug. I am going to plug this in. Plug that in. Wait. There we go. And then I have to download an app. F-E-I-T electric. Fate electric, fight electric. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> This is gonna really improve my quality of life, hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, I shouldn't speak too soon because we are trying this together for the first time. Yay, it's the little things, am I right? I think they were about $25 or something. Okay, so I have to sign up, which sucks. I hate when I have to enter my email into anything because I don't wanna get emails. I get too many emails as it is. I'm just like, delete, 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 delete all day long, I swear. <laughs> no, please do not keep me updated on fate, el fight electric news. <laughs> Gotta set a password, don't look, don't look. Don't read my mind either. Okay, okay. Allow while using the app. Okay, I think I'm connected. Okay, I'm gonna go plug in the, the other ones. Um, yeah, I, we need to plug these in first, it's looking. Here we are in my film, my old filming room, which is no longer my filming room because 
As I've stated in like a million videos, my basement flooded and we had to rip up the carpet, which is why you see this carpet gripper strip stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunate, but we just haven't gotten a pump put in yet because, so we can't, we can't fix the floor because if we, um, if we replace the carpet before we get the pump in, then like it might flood again, especially where we're in winter. Yeah, we have to get the pump in. It's just like kind of expensive, like actually really expensive. A few thousand dollars is what it's going to be um, for them to like dig, what's it called, a sump pump? Something like that. Let me know if you know what it's called, but yeah, it's like a few thousand dollars for them to like dig the hole on the side of our house and then put the thing in and then, you know, all of that. So we just haven't gotten around to it. Anyway, what was I saying? Here we are in our electrical room with like our heater and stuff, water, water warmer. What are they called? Water heater. <laughs> that's the word. Well, that's really loud. And I don't touch this stuff. Don't worry. Okay, let's go back and get it connected to the app. I'm so excited. I hope it's, I hope it works. We're gonna go in the other room because the lighting is better. So now it's saying there are three devices to be added. This isn't sponsored by them. I bought this with my money, with my own money. I have to connect to my internet and I don't know what the password is. And Ryan is at a movie with Kai. So hopefully. Okay, so I had to go stand upstairs, but guess what? They're on and it's working. I did that from my phone. You can see that the light, oh no, you can't, but you can see that the light is on in my terrarium and I will show you, look. The lights are on, so it works. I need to go take a nap or something. I'm so tired. Uh, I got most things on my list and there's just a couple of things still to do, but I'll do them in another video. You know what, actually, I tried to film a plant care vlog video the other day. I will go ahead and insert that footage now. I only did a few things again because I got tired or distracted by my babies. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and insert that now. First, I'm gonna go around and chop leaves, gross leaves off of my plants. And then that way I can kind of see what's going on with the different plants, which ones are gonna need watered um, and which ones aren't. So right away, I can already tell you that <laughs> here in my bathroom, surprise, surprise, Peace Lily needs watered. And it does have some yellow leaves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop them off and throw them into the bathtub there so that I can just take care of them afterward. Give them the old chuckaroony into the garbaggio all at once. Um, because there is another plant in here that also needs some care, I will show you. They need some trim, I mean. All right, so this is my Syngonium angustatum and actually, oh, those leaves are just coming right off. It doesn't need watered, but I was saving these leaves that were from being too close to the bright light. I was saving them for a video I did. You may have already seen that. I'm not sure if this or that will go up first, but it was a Syngonium care video. I just left those on there so I would be able to show you guys what it looks like if the plant gets too much light. Look at my heart leaf philodendron, it's so cute. Um, there is a few leaves, there are a few leaves that need pulled off of this. Ugh. Much better, right? That was more than I thought. <gasps> Liquid dirt mix done. Oh, this is weird. I seem to have misplaced my other gallon jug. It's somewhere, but I don't know where. So I'm just gonna use like this mason jar to water all my plants. It's gonna be a little bit more tedious this way, but whatever, it'll get done. So I'm just gonna give a little splash, put a little splash of liquid dirt in there, of the liquid dirt mix in there, fill her up with water, and then water my plants, like so and then just repeat this process on any plants that need to be watered. This is a very terrible lighting angle. Aglionema valentine. We'll put a little bit in there. Probably doesn't need it, but whatevs. And then also this ficus audrey. Honestly, this plant, I moved it in here a few months ago. It's doing really, really well. Like much better than I thought. This is an east facing window. It is thriving. I almost got rid of this plant a couple of times and then it never worked. 
Oh, I thought it was a bug, it's just dust. It never worked out that me and the girl that was gonna take it could meet up, so I kept it, and I am really glad that it ended up that way because the plant is doing extremely well and looks really good. I did rotate it the other day, so that's why it's leaning a little bit weird. Ain't she cute? I love it. Into Kai's playroom where like a lot of my plants are actually. And okay, you can tell, so this is for a video. I better put that somewhere else. We'll put it right there. You can tell a lot about my mental state by the amount of propagating I'm doing. And look, you guys, I have three, I have one more jar with Skindapsis Exotica in it, but I have all of these propagations going and I'm so proud for me and my happy mental state. So I'm just gonna fill the soil or um, moss or whatever for all these plants. And if they're feeling a little dry and crusty, I'm gonna give them some water. Probably should add some water into these propagating jars. Why not? We're here, right? It's not often I just have free time to do as I please with my planties. You know that exhilarating feeling when you're filling up a plant or a propagation vessel or um, just watering a plant and the saucer starts to fill and then you stop it just in time before it goes over the edge? There's not very many feelings better than that. I accidentally went a little heavy handed on my liquidert that time, but oh, look at how droopy she is. You need a lot of water. I think actually one of my last um, care videos, I cut this Adansonii back and it has grown a lot. So um, if you watched that video, it's working. It's doing it. I know I've mentioned it before, but I do actually like, can you see what I'm doing? I do actually like using a small um, vessel when I'm watering my plants because there is something very relaxing to me about walking back and forth a million times. The sun is instantly in my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I love it. That's why I prefer to use a smaller thing. I mean, usually I use like a full gallon uh, container. I cannot, I seem to have misplaced my gallon jug as I've stated already. I do actually have two plants that have drainage holes, um, but they're they're in moss, so I do have to let them soak in the sink. So this Monstera Albo propagation I did, and then this Philodendron Mayoi, I think is how you say it, um, I'm gonna go put in the sink and let them soak in there. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!